welcome back to another video this is vlogmas day number three guys and what i have right here is some nice comfort food this is my turkey and sausage stew so we're gonna jump into this video and i'm gonna show you how i put it together all right guys so what i'm gonna be using for this i have two uh turkey thighs and I have some sausage here. And I'm going to be using my Uncle Steve uh, competition bird shake. Then I have some onions, some potato, some green and red bell pepper, and some better than bouillon chicken paste. Okay, so what I like to do is get my turkey uh, washed and seasoned. I want to season it really well because these were pretty big and pretty thick. So you want to make sure that seasoning goes all the way through. And once I have them seasoned, I'll bake it in the oven 325 for two hours. Okay, so this is how my turkey looks after it has cooked for two hours on 325. And I'm just going to be using some of that oil. Uh, fact that rendered all of this i'm going to use that to start cooking my sausage and my vegetables okay guys i just want to show you how i got my sausage and vegetables vegetables chopped up um doesn't have to be any specific way just however you would like and once i get that done then i added my turkey fat to the bottom of this pot now I'm just adding my sausage and my onions and bell peppers to it. Alright, and once I get that added, then you just want to give it a good mix. And I'm just going to let these cook until my sausage gets uh, a little color on it. And my vegetables... Uh, starting to soften just a little bit. Okay, I am back. And you can see now that my sausage have a little color on it. So now I'm going to come in and add my uh, potatoes to this. Alright, then we just want to give that a mix. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to add some seasoning to this. And guys, I forgot to add this, in the, add this to the front part of my uh, video. But I'm going to be using some of the Uncle Steve Shake, the sweet and spicy herb. But of course, I'll have everything in the description of the video. So I just want to get some of that added in. You want to make sure that you season everything in the layers so that everything will be nice and flavorful at the end. So I'm going to come in and just give this a mix. Alright, once I get that mixed together. Okay, so now that I have that mixed together, let's come in and add my turkey to it. And I took the uh, skin off of it. I don't want to include the skin. And you can see I can just pull this apart with my tongues. That's how uh, nice and tender it is. Alright, then I'm going to come in and get my uh, my second one added to this. Alright. 
right, so I'll get these bones out of here. And once I get these bones taken out, then I'm going to come in and add some water to this. Alright guys, so this is two cups of water. And that's not going to be enough, so I'm going to come in and I'm going to add two more cups. That's going to give me a total of four cups of water. And that should be fine. Alright, so I'm just going to get that added in. And then next I'm going to come in and I'm going to add uh, a little bit of my better than bouillon chicken paste to this and then we just want to give that a mix and get that paste all dissolved and then I'm going to come in and add a little bit more seasoning to this, mainly just some uh, black pepper. Alright, and once I get that black pepper added, I'm going to bring this to a boil, and then I'm going to add in some uh, thyme to it. Alright, so I'm going to get that mixed in and then I'm going to cover it and let it cook for about 30 minutes and then I'll be back and check it. Alright guys, I am back here now. And this has been about 30, 35 minutes later. And you can see that everything is starting to look really good. I know that my potatoes aren't uh, done not yet, so I am going to cover this back and then I'm going to turn the stove down some to like a medium high. And I'm just going to let that cook for maybe another 25 minutes or so. And then I'll be back to check it again. Okay, guys, this has been another 20 minutes at the most, and I know that this is ready now. You can see that my uh, stock has reduced just a little bit. I don't want all of it to boil out, and I don't want to add any more to it, so this is perfect. I know that my potatoes are done now just by looking at them. I got a nice broth here. So this meal is done. And I was actually going to uh, eat this with some uh, cheddar biscuits, but I didn't feel like making them again because my taste is gone because it is cold. So I'm not going to be doing a taste test or anything. There's no need for me to get up there and fake it for you guys like I'm tasting something when I'm not so <laughs> but if you enjoyed this video guys please give me a thumbs up leave me a comment subscribe to the channel if you are new and make sure you hit that post notification bell so you'll know whenever I make a new video and follow me on Instagram Facebook Twitter cooking and chilling with Kenny and guys I'm not sure what the next video is gonna be but there definitely will be one posted on Sunday morning or afternoon. Until then, guys, peace.